today we'll take a quick look at upgrade question on Entropass. So I do have my Entropass software. Actually, let's let's go to the system live. I have Entropass. Let's check the status of the Entropass. I'm logging in right now. Okay, I go on that check mark help and about. And here I can confirm the version of my Entropass and the state. Here I have free update expiration date. Oh, expired quite some time now. It's been expired since 2014. Now, when we install Entropass, we have 12 months, I mean, one year where we can upgrade for free any newer version to any newer version, right? After that one year, we'll need a license called token in order to be able to upgrade to that newer version. Here, I'm confirming how many token I need. It's saying token required to update one, right? And the zero is telling me that I have actually no token at all in my system because depending on how you design your system you could buy the token and add it to the system for future use if it was my case i would have the number of token sitting there waiting right but right now it's saying zero other way you can check once you log in in the system you can go option registration and here you see view and trapass. That's where you will see all the details. For example, when that has been installed, 2013. And you can see here again, that's the free update expiration date. That means I cannot upgrade, right, until I have that resolve. And here I have the number of tokens needed. Now I do know I need one token. It could be more. How, when, for example, my system right now is a basic corporate entrepass, right? Which means I can have more than 10,000 doors, 100 DSE integration, a lot of <laughs> NVR integration, a lot. Uh, some other cases, the system has more options. For example, I could have redundancy server, Active Directory. Uh, so if those more license you have that can raise the number of token required to upgrade. So right now I need one token and my system is a corporate. So the next step is contact my Kentech vendor, request the token. So once I buy the token, then we proceed with the next step. All right. Um, yeah, good idea. Let's check. It's, it's always easier to just... <laughs> contact the vendor and say, hey, I need this part number. Now, you quickly confirm on the kentech.com website, you go on the bottom and you see where it says catalog, right? Actually, let me go in the English one. So I go here and I will download the kentech catalog. And in there, I will be able to find all the part number I need. I mean, right now I don't need all, I just need the part number for the token. Okay, so let's download that, open it, and we'll look for that token together. Okay, I have the catalog, and I need token. I could just look for corporate, but I need token. I'm pretty sure if I put token there, it will. Yes, I am in Entropass software, and here I can see, but that's special edition, that's not what I need. I need a token for corporate edition. Yes, here we are. Let's bring that more up. I have the token. Can take token and I need one token, which means that I need that part number. 
So I send the email to my vendor. I need that part number. And once I proceed, pay, I will receive that token. So let's say we do have the token. Now what's the next step? That's what we're going to do now. The next step is to go to the kentech.com, right? Support, Kentech registration, we'll get here. Once I get to that page, I click on register licenses, right? Kentech and Chopper software registration, I click here. Then I will get to the page where I can register the token to my license. Right here, you have register system serial number. That's not what I need to do because the token is an option. I'm going to add register option. I'm going to add the system serial number, which is the 20 digit that, as you can see, here, have five set of four. So I have those 20 digit. All right. And once I do that on the bottom, I will add the token code that I receive from my vendor. Once I add the token, I will validate, then register. I will receive a confirmation code. Once I do have that confirmation code, right, I will come now to the Kentech software. I will look for token. So here on the left side, you see those options, right? I go enter pass token. I say click here to install component and I get to that screen. On that screen, I will add the system serial number, which is, I mean, I have already used the system serial number, sorry. I will add the token, the number I receive for the token. And on the bottom, I will add the confirmation code that I receive after the registration. Click OK and the token will be added. After I do that, that step means that the token is added to the software. It's not applied yet. I can have it there for years. But now I need to apply that right to the cap. I cap and I click here to install component and what will happen? It will tell me, I mean, right now I didn't add the token yet, but it will be telling me, uh, number of token required one, number of token available one, I click OK, and that's it. Now, the idea is not to stay and say the stuff, it's to do it so you can see. So let me register my token, add it there, and we'll see the difference. Give me a second. OK, I have uh, more than one token. So my token has been added. Now I'm gonna go, as I explained, once I've done the process of adding the token, right? If I go in view cap detail, I will see my expiration date is still 2014, though it was before. But here I see token purchase. I bought 10 token, it's added sitting there in my system. Now, if I go to cap and I say click here to install component, it's telling me token available 10. Token required right now for what I'm doing, which is enabling the free upgrade expiration date to have one more year. It's telling me one. And I say, yes, I want to do that. It's telling me done. Perfect. Now, if I go help and about, I have my free update execution date switched to 2020, one year from now. That's it. Now I have my Entropa software ready to be upgraded. Of course, the software itself. Now I will need to verify what type of computer that I have because I'm running 6.01. And right now, if we go to the Kentech website to confirm the version we at, 
we had version 8.10. It's quite some version to go. For example, from 6.01, we'll go to 6.05, then we'll go to 7.00, then we'll go to 8.10. Right? Now, if our computer is capable of supporting 8.10, we can download those version, which means 605, 7, 8, and keep proceed with quit until we reach the latest version. Right? We do have other video to help you confirm the spec, confirm which computer you need and stuff like that. For now, I think we okay with the token, right? How to apply the token, well, I mean, register the token, add it to the system, and enable the upgrade expiration date in order to have 12 more months. Okay, I hope this video has been useful to you. Thank you for watching.